One of the things you notice here in Detroit is the stench of pot smoke. Practically everywhere you go, it like hangs in the air in the atmosphere like a cloud. Not as cool as this one. Eh, maybe it is. So Woodard Avenue, again, the major artery through Detroit, the heart of the whole metro area, essentially comes and dumps into the Detroit River. Interesting note here about the Detroit River. Across this river, which is Canada, that's Canada right there, we're looking south. So yeah, a little Jeopardy question. If you're standing in Detroit and you looked south, what's the first country you would see? Everybody else is like, oh, well, it's Mexico. Wrong, it's Canada. Because of a little the way the geography is, there's a little juddy here, and that's Windsor, Canada right over there. Now, interestingly, during the days of Prohibition, 100 years ago, 80% of all of the illegal liquor that flowed into the United States came across this river right here. These docks, what we're standing on right now, uh, is all revamped, but all of this area, these docks, were controlled by a group called the Purple Gang. Uh, it was a Jewish thug gang that actually even terrified the hell out of Al Capone. He tried to muscle in here. They beat the living daylights out of his people, and Al Capone never came back. <laughs> well, they say as in Detroit, you know, Detroit where the weak are killed and eaten. Well, when Al Capone is considered weak and eaten, you know, you're dealing with a pretty tough crowd. Um, but it was because of all of this liquor flow coming into Detroit from across in Canada to the south that the whole uh, industry, if you want to call it that, or the cottage industry of the blind pig was born. Lots of the other places around the country sort of knew them as a speakeasy, but here in Detroit, they got the reputation and the name of blind pig because the, co the cops were all corrupt and we're taking payoff to let people just go into these places and drink. Kind of like it happened in the speakeasies. But it was a real big, big thing here and it became really big in the African American community as well within the black community. It was the raid on a blind pig that touched off those riots uh, in 1967 at the end of July and really, really put the probably the nation's ugliest exclamation point on um, the problem of racism in America up to that point. Detroit is rebuilding to a master plan of beauty and public service. Detroit is daring to reach up.